The only health facility at Chamba in the northern region is struggling to provide basic health care to residents as a result of indebtedness by the NHIS. The facility has not received payment from the scheme for more than 17 months now. Patients are sometimes forced to sleep on metallic bed structures without mattresses. Joseph Obokugaku visited there and filed this report. <laughs> the St. Joseph's Clinic and Maternity Home at Chamba serves a population of about 4,000 people in 27 communities in the Nanumba North District. For the detention, when it gets to the peak season, like the rainy season, where we have a lot of malaria cases, especially in children, most of them lie on the floor. But we just have we have just a, a six bed capacity wards. At least 40 patients visit the facility daily for treatment, of which more than 70% use NHIS cards. But the NHI hasn't reimbursed them for more than a year. From our calculation, it's 17 months outstanding. We are always in indebtedness, and we are being chased every now and then. The result, there is no money for the running of the clinic. The physician assistant would usually make patients buy gloves and other materials when visiting. He says the situation is negatively impacting healthcare delivery. The client is lying down suffering. We talk of emergency situations. Then they are running to the drugstore to what? Buy examination gloves, to buy cotton, and we have to wait. What happens to the client? A lot of the beds here are without mattresses because there is no money to replace worn-out ones. Even the available mattresses are dirty and the beds are rusty. Sometimes patients lie on the metal structure without mattresses. So do you sleep on it like that? Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 The hospital has no flowing water. The tank here was donated to them by an NGO, but there is never a reliable source to fill it. They would usually go buy water in yellow gallons and bring. We're getting water from the mission, the mission house, but now day to their pump has a problem. So we buy water from town. The member of parliament for the area, Dominic Nitiwo, donated this ambulance to the facility in 2016, but it has never worked they would thus usually convey referred patients in pickups to the nearest health facility. We use our pickup as the ambulance. I thought you have an ambulance here right now, sitting here on the premises. What's happening? I'm exactly one year here. And since I came, this is how the ambulance has been packed here. And it was handed over to me as being packed there since they brought it, because it's not in good shape in terms of uh, whichever way our transport officer can describe it, look at the registration. It's can a we use it on our Ghanaian routes? The challenges here are many. The administrators want some quick intervention. You have heard of the indebtedness of the NHIS to us. If they do, possibly we may be able to get extra income to be able to solve some of these problems locally. For example, maintaining of the beds, buying of mattresses to replace worn out ones. For Joy News, Joseph Apokugapo, Chamba. Hey.